dental care event happening at Cal Expo. Thousands of people expected to get free dental care over the weekend. Well, hundreds of volunteers, including dozens of dentists, spend much of today helping fix smiles for free. This is the second time this event is being offered here in Sacramento, and organizers hope that an underlying message gets across to lawmakers. KCRA3's Kevin Oliver is live for us at Cal Expo with more on that. And Kevin, how many people did they help today? Well, Edie, they've already helped more than 1,000, 1,100 to be exact, uh, today alone. And they're still wrapping up on some of the people that are in here at this point, uh, still working on some dentures and some extractions. They shut the line off at about 3 o'clock today. Those people that are in here right now are just finishing up, and some state lawmakers were also here today to see just how many people need help. Today marks Dr. Gary Ackerman's seventh free dental care clinic in the past three years. He says he performs charity work because there are too few dentists willing to work on patients with Dentical insurance. I got a hug every 15, 20 minutes. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Thank you, thank you. I mean, it's, they're very, very grateful, very grateful people. Ackerman says across the state he has found the same thing. The Dentical, the state-funded safety net that once provided low-cost dental care for 3 million Californians, isn't doing what it should. The state cut the program for adults in 2009, and while lawmakers revived the program last year, Ackerman and other dentists say it's so poorly funded that most dentists are not participating, and those that are have a backlog of patients. Then you call XYZ Dental, and they might say, yes, we do take Dental, but we can't see you for six months, or we can't see you for eight months. Most dentists can't afford to take to take, uh, to take Dental we're better off doing charity. That's because the California Dental Association says the state's reimbursement rates haven't been adjusted for the times or a dentist's expenses. And dentists can't come close to covering their costs if they take on too many Dentical patients. You wouldn't be in business long. Yeah, you would be out of business before in a very short amount of time. For people on Dentical or without any coverage, that wait to have a toothache looked at or a filling replaced could lead to losing teeth, periodontal disease, or worse. That dentist did remove quite a few teeth here today. You see some dentures that are being worked on right now. The doors open back up here tomorrow morning at 530 and a couple of lawmakers did come by here uh, today. The Dental Association of course is hoping that lawmakers recognize this and actually increase some of those reimbursement rates for Dentical to help bolster that program. Reporting live from Cal Expo, Kevin Oliver, KCRA 3 News. Kevin, thank you and anyone who needs free dental care is invited to that clinic at Cal Expo. However, it is first come, first serve. That event runs through tomorrow afternoon. And we're following some breaking.